What's going on YouTube? This is Kai. We're back with another deck profile after I've gone for so long. We came back from Dudes Cups and also I'm busy with something else. Also our locals, I only we only come back after the Dudes Cup for like two weeks. We only joined. The format is not that I would say not that shift that we thought it would. The band list didn't affect much. The top tier decks are still there, just a little bit more extras. Every deck gets a chance, not all decks are tier elements now. And not all decks are purely. So before the ban list, which is I think a few months from now. So I believe it is time to do a deck profile of what deck I'm using this format, which is after the Dewey's Cup, and that is gonna be the Math Max. I use this deck because this deck is like simple and not that you don't have to make a big board for opponents to unbreakable. You just make a mini board interruptions and irrelevant to like dark rulers, even leads, etc. So you still get to play. And also going second is a uh, almost 80% OT case if your opponents can't stop you or they nimble you while you have extenders or a hand trap the wrong stuff. You just go for it. It's similar to the TCG list except for the land list just released that circulars went to one but it is what it is hopefully that didn't come here yet but so without further ado let's go in the profile i got second place at my locals last week and fourth place at the week before so it is a pretty solid deck in my opinion and of course i like to play a deck that is non played by my locals and the one and only special which is like kind of suitable for me i like to be the one and only so Without further ado, 3 circular, this is the, I would say the abyss tiers of the decks, but even worse, this is the magician's soul, it pluses, searches, a lot of things, also at level 4, it's coming handy, and 2 diameter, I only play 2 because you don't want to open up that much, it doesn't do much by itself, of course if you have one of like anti Nibiru, this is what you want to go for, or even anti draw lock I, I believe this will come in as well as the effects is used as the materials you can omni negate once but that doesn't destroy so you can block and brew and for the for names I play one additions one sigma and one subtract these two are just for extra bodies if you get the bureau you make a link spider you use this and then you still get to combo afterwards for this this is the mandatory you need at least one to keep you floats and if you use it as assist materials it won't Banish when it leaves the field because it says the material, and then you just use it to bring back next turn if you somehow need a body. This is your guide. That's all for the Mag Mag monsters. I didn't play Nabla because I kind of stuck with Nabla too much, so that I decided to cut it. And for the other names, one Dotscaper. This is just for this is just for X. Similar, you can make your combo without normal or something. So if you get the B root, you summon this. If the spider is, you get to go on. And for the best extender of the deck, Parallaxis, this is the god card that I believe. I wish I would give us foil, but I didn't have the foil, so it's the commons. This is the reason why you get to play Nibiru very easily. If you use your combo with circular, and then you just go off everything with circular, and then your opponent decided to Nibiru during access code, it's the same. You make spider, she triggers effect, combo off again, make another access code, update jammer, you know all the and for the other stuff, I played the Spirit Package. I didn't play the Firewall Defensor because if I summon Defensor, if I get and I link to Lingori Boss, I get Ash. I don't have any extenders, it's just gone. For this, it's not necessarily gone. If you start combo with this, it's treated as extra normal summon. If you have another body, you, think you can still make stuff. And for this, yes, of course, you get Imperm or Veiler Ash is very pain in the butt. But you still get to make Almirage and then use your other stuff to make the extenders for the cybers you still get to go on being attack lower than 1000 does come, does come in handy with Elmrush even you opening your hand traps and then you have the subtraction, additions, sigma or the pyraxis you still get to go that's all for the combo monsters for the non-combo monsters will be 3 ash 3 maxis this is just staples hand traps and also Normal summon them into Amorash, combo off, simple. And for the hand just one draw, one ghost bell, one debut, two decros, 
one ogre and one Kurikara. These are a lot of one-off because I not plan to anti a lot of decks because this all generically is just good against everything. Like these are good against these heavy samurai, grave combos, etc. And they play all of these because they are available to, for you to go to armor rush and if you play small world this can link to a lot of things like level one and the dark the wind it can link to a lot of things so if, if you draw them that hand you just use small world to teach them and exchange for something else and some people may play dogren but i choose not to play dogren because this is just much more better in many ways and also it's a, it's a beer against our locals which is a lot of sword souls you beta the chisha or baroness you summon this if they use Baroness first, you tribute the Baron to this, swing over Chisha and face bring back the Baron. If they use Chisha first, you tribute off the Chisha, make it 3000, you trade off with Baron, which is okay. And a lot of stuff just there. A lot of one offs. That's all for the monster, just a lot of monsters. And for spells, small lineups, the Cyanide Mining and Small World. Small World is like really one of the cards that I can't believe I'm saying this is quite good as a bridge yes you're minus one in the process but you bridge into a lot of things that you need it you bridge into hand traps if you just com you just combo very well you get interruptions you use this to bridge to hand traps but you need the combo pieces to bridge into whatever the combo pieces or you just want the break boards you can use bridge to your I would say Kurikara to break boards and sign that money, just sign that money. Small world, just small world. They both do the same safe stuff. It's just that this is easier. This is much more defensive situations. And the last spell for the use for that is formation. This is also extenders, monster even. A thousand for free. If I want to have windows, and you like, you can use, if you haven't long summoned yet, and you can use this to bring back whatever you want again, thousand and swing over it. But I didn't do that, mostly they're just schism, so this is just for extended for me. And the call by cross out, of course. Yes. For the traps, Factorio, awesome card. It's a revolved attack. I didn't activate it that much that I thought it would be. Of course, this is vulnerable against Bistros, D Crows, the call by, etc. But you still use it to bait out because you need something to interrupt your opponent's turn. If this card screws off, it basically is a multi, I would say, interruptions. You make the Laplacians, you Trishula their hand and field, not the graveyard, technically not Trishula but 2.0s, and you're using the diameter as a material so you get Omni Naked once. You trade off their hands, their field, and you get an extra Omni Naked, which is nice. And the last trap is 2 Imperm and one reboot. Reboot is for trap decks. This deck goes second. If you're against trap decks, you're gonna go for the kill. So it very reboots. Imperm, just Imperms. That's all for the main deck. There's 40 cards. Now for the extra decks, for the links first, for the link ones. Link decoder, this is the OCG's in the cards. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be in the TCG sooner or later. It's a bridge. Whenever you use this card to link material as a for a 2300 attack points Cypher's monster, you can bring it back, but at least a few when it's banished. But banished when it leaves a few, sorry, my grammars. And yes, sometimes you don't go to Armor Rush or Link Spider, sometimes you go to this first. Like, if you want to normal summon your Math Mech with a circuit, you normal summon it first, or you special summon it first, and then you make this trigger your uh, Axis Parallaxis, some of the markers, make something else or you want to go for splash mage and the splash mage and this make the transcode and the transcode that brings it back it still works that way and arm rush sting spider this is standards g golem crystal hearts this is your next go to after you get the view for your ladders this is the second splash mage but it's only revived for earth links which is only transcode talkers sadly you only bring back transcode talkers you can bring back something else and you make transcode talker calling by it so transcode talker gains a 500 including these cards and these cards gain and it gains 600 attacks for each of the counter on it so access code gains 600 i'm oh, sorry transcode gains 600 this one's saying gain 600 so it's a 11 1100 meters and your transcode talker is 3400 attack twice and pierce defense which is sometimes does came came in and you break you break boards you attack multiple times and without the jammers of course you you can use this to make for this, so your 
Crystal Heart attack twice and Trust Code attack twice, which is sometimes ridiculous when they say it. So, for the increase, hit soul, transcode, standards, you need this every every cyber stack needed this. There's nothing to explain. Hit soul, just hit soul. So you, you want to draw for hand traps. If you make your if your standards enough, no interruptions, you make like this. You draw, draw one during your turn, draw one during your opponent's turns. You your draw face, you get whatever you want. And the two access, the reason why I play two because if you get Nibiru on the first one, you can still make and then make a second one. That's why I play two. I was playing one, but I immediately felt that this card should not be at one piece on your extra deck. You needed two. And also, it's not once per turn. Even if you get Nibiru with update jammers, update jammers is also not once per turn. If you get Nibiru by the effects, and you can still make this to attack twice as sweet for him. And for the link five. Firewall. This is not what I say a boss monster, but it is a really good interruption because a lot of people don't know that during the battle phase, your opponent's monsters' effects are negated during a battle phase. So, one time I play against Shadows, I swing over his monster. He can't trigger the fifth effect because it's in the battle phase. I swing it over and have multiple monsters that swing everything. He loses advantage and he's case is at eight k. So, you gain three attributes, you gain eight k, swing twice, and then you send the card. With you send the cards from the extra deck or the main deck. If you need the diameter for the factorial, you send, you send the diameter, you need extenders, you send the dust caper, you need interruptions, you send the, the safe worms or the GR gator. I never use this, sadly, sometimes I wish I did, but I never use this. This I use the most often. Sometimes, sometimes I send this like, if you, what if my opponent's called by the grave my graveyards? Use this, no call, no call by the grave, no interruptions. If they want a dark crow, go ahead, I don't, I don't care. And for the XCC, it's one Laplacians and one Grumbeer Shear. I don't know if for some reason, no, right. This is good, you needed it, and it has a second effect, sometimes people forgot as well. You can tribute this card, summon one map from Head of Grave, non target, it triggers your circulars, extra body, and of course, their only XC side base. That's what the extra decks. The side deck, side decks is optional, depending on the locals you play. So for me, this is the second nip, the second third and draw. One more ghost bells. This is for branded. This is for super heavy samurai. Not recommended against the mirror unless they go first with small world or cyanide mining. If they open up their starters with cyanide mining, the spirit monsters or small world, you draw this, they hurt they hurt hard, like they hurt hard. They can't make more extended, they have the force to go to the Smash Mage, and as you have more hand traps, you can disrupt it very easily. And Nibiru is Nibiru, so. Dusters, tactics, uh, pretty standard. I plan to cut this, I was playing in Centric Fiend, if, uh, in India I just changed this instead, this is just way better in my opinion. But against Naturius, this card just sucks because you can't activate any spell anyway, so why bother? And of course, more battle hits. Lightning Storms. <laughs> of course, they kill monsters. If our more opponents just put their monsters on attack positions, clear them against Vanquish Souls. Sometimes they put their monsters on their attack, swap it, and force them to change. And more battle hits, Cosmic Cyclones against Runic, Spec Rose, etc. And the third Imperm and two Solemn Judgment. I was playing so Solemn Scolding, but I don't want to waste my life too much in my opinions. And not a lot of people play Bistros against me. Whenever they Bistros, they want, always go for like when I Splash Mage or when I use the Cyanide combos, the Transcode to bring back the everything as well, they always Bistro me there. And that was a big mistake. If they bestow me there and my diamond is in the graveyard, I have Factoria and I have this, I basically just trade a lot of things. So that's why I decided to play solo instead of the scolding. And also scolding by playing 3000 life points. If you use twice and your opponents somehow manage to clear off your firewalls and they have things to interrupt your maybe I don't know, maybe the factorials, and it's just game. So this in my opinion, it's just better. It's just normal summon, you just activate this, they waste their normal summons. And they have to combo off without using normal summons, which is really hard for nowadays decks. So I realized that, so I choose to solo judgment as, for that reason. So guys, that's it for the decks. I hope you guys enjoy it. This is the deck I'll be playing during this format until further notice or even badly dropped. So any guys 
you have anything you want to let me know or any suggestions please let me know down in the comments below i'll read every single one of it and reply as soon as i can hope you guys enjoy enjoy this please remember to smash the like button and sub to the channel as always see you guys next time take care everyone